In a report last week in the New York Times, investigators who worked with special counsel Robert Mueller on the FBI's Russian collusion case have indicated that there is evidence in the report that is more damaging to President Donald Trump than has previously been indicated by Attorney General William Barr. In the Times report, some investigators have said that they fear that Barr's principal conclusions of the Mueller investigations may be shaping public opinion before the public has actually had a chance to view the findings for themselves. Mueller, of course, was appointed as special counsel to lead a probe into whether or not there was collusion with Russia by the Trump campaign surrounding the 2016 presidential election and if there is a possible obstruction of justice case against President Trump. Barr recently was handed the findings of the special investigation and later made a statement about it in a letter to lawmakers saying he found no conspiracy despite multiple offers from Russian-affiliated individuals to assist the Trump campaign. While he did not accuse Trump of obstruction of justice, he also did not fully or publicly exonerate Trump on the obstruction charges, however, and that may be what creeps up as we see the fuller picture. Barr has since said that a redacted version of the report will be available within a week, but that isn't doing the trick for House Democrats who are pushing to subpoena the full finding of the report. The Justice Department maintains that the report contains highly sensitive material including classified info, secret testimonies, and information which would be considered relevant to current federal investigations. House Judiciary Committee Chairman Jerry Nadler said the following in a statement on Wednesday just before the House Judiciary Committee voted to authorize subpoenas for the full report. We have reason to suspect the Trump administration's motives, the Mueller report probably isn't the total exoneration the president claims it to be. And, in any event, this committee has a job to do. The Constitution charges Congress with holding the president accountable for alleged official misconduct. That job requires us to evaluate the evidence for ourselves, not the attorney general summary, not a substantially redacted synopsis, but the full report and the underlying evidence.